Good morning. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Big 41. Woo! I mean everybody to it. This message is for Rebecca, my lovely wife, but I think it will be good for you guys to hear this because I know her at such an intimate level. Got a special something to say. What'd you do, sleep with daddy, everybody? Come, get in the bed with mom. It's the most special day. It's her birthday. Yeah, even Teddy. Everybody in the bed. Even Teddy. Teddy! Oh, birthday! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look where he goes. Right where he goes. Everybody's fighting to get by the mom. Hey, Lily. Yeah? Have you done your chores? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Decorate for mom, okay? We gotta go get mom's surprise, remember? Oh, yeah. Remember you wanted to put We'll, we'll bring them and we'll put them in a bag, a jar. Get your shoes on, man. Oh. Here, my kid. It's gonna be a two minute episode looking for his shoes. Oh, he's got some. Aren't those lilies? No, they're mine now. I think there are three kinds of people in the world. The first kind of person, let's call them a consumer. They take from society more than they give. Yeah. What's wrong? I'm glad we Why are we whispering? We're outside now. Oh, well, one of the bugs got the front. <laughs> you never know where we are. Okay, get her, get her. They got a strawberry here. We got it. Yeah, we actually have four. Oh, good. One for each kid. Yeah. Okay, Here's one. get them. Here's one. Hey, there's our loppers right behind you, Jonah. I know. Yeah, I'm going to have to chop the oh front off. Okay, that's nice. Got that right. See, see, so you don't. That's fine yeah. enough. That's fine. Okay, it's back to whispering. Get a bowl. How's the deck going, Lily? Good. I split up a balloon, and Teddy's like, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> let mom sleep in a little bit. What are you guys doing? That's a good try. We're about to decorate. What? Are you missing out, buddy? You just want to run all over me, don't you? The second kind of person, let's call them neutral, because that's what they are. They give as much as they take to the society. Okay, man, let's go. Let's go get her some flowers. Do you know where some are? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Okay, where are these flowers? Oh, maybe I see them. The whole stem. Get the whole stem, honey. It's okay. Here's a clover. Like, if you want to get this clover, it's very pretty. Get the whole stem. Like that. This is pretty, this little vetch. Oh yeah, look, a bunch of yellow ones. You get yellow. We have blue, we have purple. Oh look, here's some white. Now add them to this. Look at this bouquet. How's that? Just bend it. <laughs> you grab the grass. What? You grab the grass next to it. Okay. Yeah, right there, yeah, that's good. There you go. More over here. Okay. Oh yeah, this is nice. The old farmhouse flowers. Okay, do you want to get purple? Or pur do you want to get purple or pink? Those are on sticks. You getting them for him? Yeah. Thank you. Just one of each. Ooh, here. Cool. Oh, that's very beautiful. Thank you. You are very pretty. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mama. Happy birthday to you. Actually, Lily, you're doing such a good job in here. I'll let you keep decorating. Just come down and milk when you're done. There's a third kind of person. Let's call them a creator. They create things. They give. They give more to the society. And this doesn't have to just be society at large. This can be family, this can be friends, this can be community circle. They give more than they take. Rebecca is a creator and a giver. All these come out, Rebecca? Yeah. Well, almost. Okay. Not all of the. When you were 10 years old, yeah. did you imagine when you were 41 years old that you would be setting out, I don't know, hundreds of seeds? Plants on your birthday? No. <laughs> no. I thought that I would be <laughs> living, Say it. In, living in Florida. 
Yeah. On the intercoastal. Maybe like a normal person on the intercoastal. Living a high life, huh? What you do, marry a banker? Yeah. Oh, is that true? Suit and tie. Suit and tie. Okay, on the intercoastal in Florida. Neighbors. Where would you be getting, where would you be buying your food? Publix. Publix, that's right. You were a big Publix fan. <laughs> where, where you buy your groceries at? <laughs> Look, all four of my yellow squashes came up, Justin. Oh, boy. Well, I know, yellow squash grows like a weed, but just too bad nobody likes to eat it. It doesn't. It is. <laughs> nobody does like to eat it. Right. Let's be real. Let's, let's well, be real. That's why I'm only going to plant one. Okay. Bush. For what? For one dish. For what? We'll eat some. Now, what's the name of the dish you like? Oh, um, creamed yellow squash. Creamed yellow squash. Okay, we'll have that a couple times. Well, we got our own cream. Why not? Yeah. You know? Okay. All right. So, your ten-year-old self would she think you're cool, or would she think you're a big old dweeb? Oh boy. She'd probably like this. Ah. She'd probably like this and. I think the little girl inside of you likes this. Yeah. I think there's, I love, I always loved going to the nursery and stuff with my mom and looking at plants and so this is, I, we just didn't like, and when my mom and dad would plant around like our permanent stuff around our house or my mom planted flowers or whatever, I always liked doing that with her. So this is right up my alley. I think Rebecca thrives in this homesteading, this food growing, uh, keeping the children around, uh, hanging out with, hus being with the husband all the time. I think she thrives in this lifestyle because, actually, I guess, I guess there's four type of people in this world. And this one is very rare and unique. And this one is Rebecca. She, of course, creates and is a giver. She has created, she helped create, well, she's responsible, she's why we have these family cows. She did all the research, some of our first family cows. She drove all the way to New Hampshire, two days drive, guys, to get some of our family cows early on. She and I planted this asparagus. That greenhouse, she found the plans, that she modified the plans from the internet. She made that happen. All those plants over there, yeah, she created that. So, creating, it's difficult. I don't want to say anybody can do it, because it's so difficult and unique and special, but a lot of people can create. Anybody can put their mind to it and get you a soil container, put some soil in it, put a seed in it, and, and, and see what happens. You can create things like this. But here's what makes the beautiful one so much very different. She's not just a creator and a giver. She's a nurturer. So it's one thing to be able to create something. And a lot of people can create and then sort of walk away. But can you have an idea and then create, but then maintain it, nurture it? That's something very special. Who do you think set these plants out here this morning to harden off? Who do you think is going to be in charge of putting them back up tonight? The beautiful one. Who researched and found out how many we need and got that ball rolling? The beautiful one. Who thinks of these guys practically every moment of the day and would do anything for you guys and nurtured you in a superior way as you grew up? The beautiful one. What do you think about these decorations? I love them. This is that one's this special. Is so great. It's so great. Special. Come on, Look who's here. Oh, hello. We'll let him pee out here. Yes, we yeah. will. Because that dries out here. Yes, it does. Hello. Okay, here we go. Grandma's here. <gasps> yeah. The one who gave birth to her. Oh, yes. 41 years ago. <laughs> Oh, what a big day this was. Oh, I can't believe it. It's been that no. long. Are you shrinking? Uh, oh. No, standing up straight. <laughs> I think that I Why, might was be she taller. taller? Ah. I feel like she used to be taller than yeah, me. Yeah, look. Uh, what about back our shoulders? Back. What do we look like? Back to back. Back, back to back. Oh, back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. Take. Beth's got a little taller shoulders. Uh-huh. Wow. 
Rebecca, you might be a hair taller. Huh? Well, we'll get we'll get pictures out. We'll get some pictures out to see what what that used to be like. That one, that one over there. She's really inspiring in the way that she's overcome so much to do as much as she does. You ready to go polar plunge? Yeah. Even on your birthday. Yeah. What if I don't want to do this? Why not? Because it's I'm kind of cold. So why do you do this? Well, I feel like this has helped me get better in some ways. Maybe it's just a mental thing, but even if it's that, that it's worth it to me. And I like to have control over my mind, I guess. Oh, it's okay, Daddy. It's okay. <laughs> You're trying to be cool for the camera. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not trying to be cool. <laughs> so what is wrong with you? <laughs> it's not the cold, not the cold. <laughs> what do you In general. <laughs> What's, what's the matter with your health? I mean, I what's, the I, with I, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? I have Hashimoto's and um, I had gut, dis <laughs> gut dysbiosis and uh, I just think what else was wrong with me? I mean, I'm an aging woman. <laughs> So, you know, there's hormone fluctuations and things like that. So, um, you know, I also had more stress, I think, that was causing some stress-related issues. <sighs> so, two, three years ago, when we got back from the Great American Farm Tour, you crashed. Oh, Your health completely I, crashed. I was a lot worse off then. And you worked so hard to get better. Yes. It took like a year and a half. What made you not give up? Um, just wanting to... Just wanting... Like, I don't know. Like, just wanting to get better. And, Knowing that I could, like that what I have wrong to me isn't, isn't, uh, I don't have to live like this anymore. It's been changed how I feel. But I do. Different. People will shake out too. Hey, were you helping Jonah this whole time? No, I was in the bathroom and I saw him and taking the fences down because our bathroom faces this mm -hmm. pasture and I thought I'll go help him but I came outside and it was dark so I put my plants away mm. and, and then I was gonna help him after that and then he was already had this up by the time I put the plants away and watered them and then we he said would you help me move the sheep oh. and I said of course I'll help him move the sheep What motivates you to come out here in the sprinkling rain and work on these sheep with your son? I love them. I love the sheep. I love my son. I love being outside. I feel like that, that has been a key to my healing. Just getting outside in the sun and in nature. and I, I like it. It's something... Well, one, I really appreciate Jonah too. Like, he's a hard worker and I want him to enjoy it. And I enjoy it, and it's not work to me. I don't know how to explain that. Like, I like it. So, I don't, it's, it's not, it's not like, oh, I have to go help Jonah. It's like, oh, hey, there's Jonah doing something that I already like to do, and so then we can go do it together. And he likes it too, I think. So he wouldn't be out there. Do you think this is dirty water? Mm -mm. 
What are you doing? I'm just refilling the minerals. Come on. Come on, floppy. You got one with her head in the bucket? Yeah. You've tamed her so much. Hey Rebecca, why not just get sheep and just let them do? Just let them go and see how it goes. With that. <laughs> like? Well, I mean, you could do that if you want to rely on chemicals and all that, but I don't want to. I want to raise them as holistically as possible. All right, you got you got your A for them. Uh -huh. Do you think they come over to see what you got or to get a rub? Both. Are you gonna try your new? I see you got a new brush in your back pocket. You're quite I equipped do. there. I do. Um, I found a brush. You can get it out of the thing. I think. If we could catch Bambi, it's the one I want. You gonna try out your crook today? Well, I was thinking you would do it. Oh, I'm, you want me to? Okay. I, I have no idea what I'm That's doing. That's fine. I, <laughs> Jonas says he does. I have no idea what I'm doing either. Here, hold the camera. That always works better with the camera, and neither one of us know what we're doing. Jonah, help us kind of corner Bandy. Bandy is who we're looking for. I didn't see that friend. No! That was mad skill right there, Beck. Thanks. Oh, you got one with the crook. Nice. What's the idea here, Beck? Well, we're just trying to help her sh to see if it's, if she's shedding better. She's just having a harder time than the others. Aren't you, Bandy? It's okay. How'd your cake come out? Well, I had some technical difficulties, so I'm... Um, yeah. Like it was, I was here last night. It was not cooking in the middle, but you were it looks like it. <laughs> it was you, but it's but it burned it on the outside. It was. It was burning on the outside, but it wasn't cooked on the inside. Yeah. It's good on the inside. It is good on the inside. Oh, it's gonna be Galoria. I think it'll taste good. I think it'll taste fine. We just gotta get the. Do you want me to do that for you? It's your birthday. I'll yeah, scrape the burn off. Good birthday meal choice: chicken parmesan, our chicken, our lettuce. What kind of cake? It's spice nut. Oh, UPS is here. Just in time. Is that it? Okay, quick. 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 She's in the back. She's in the back. How does it feel to be 41? Feels great. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Did you say it too? <laughs> oh, yeah. You almost didn't do it so I many times. I, I I like You're just happy as can be. Just happy as can be. Right. So it tastes good? Mm -hmm. It does. It tastes really good. Present time. <laughs> I, see, I see you looking at that. You're a little curious with the... Uh, the packing Dad, paper Dad, wrap Dad, job. This is a really nice wrap job. <laughs> get out Rip it fast. How did you get here and leave here? I'm the so bird fast? man. You must have express shipped that. Because I know you. you <laughs> oh, they're my shoes. They're actually my shoes. Yeah, yeah that's from uh, Lily. Yeah. Yes, oh, they're I from Lily. Shoes. I oh, hope they fit. Nice. I, I they bought them for you. <laughs> they go real good with your overalls there. <laughs> 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 Who's this from? This is from Grandma, I think. Yeah. Happy birthday. Coupon. Ooh, I, I like these. I will sit these. the kids while you and Jets have a fun date. Ooh, a babysit. Yeah. <laughs> and this is from Grandma as well. That's very beautiful. She got me something from the wedding gift registry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just sad. <laughs> you have no idea. I have no now, idea. this one's from me. She always did that. This is not from you. Yeah, it is. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, I know what it is. I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> it was for me. <laughs> you took it and gave it to Grandpa to wrap. <laughs> That's pretty clever, huh? <laughs> oh, you're cracking me up. <laughs> Another. Oh, there's presents everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like that stuff. It's really wrapping me. It's not a really big box. We wrap it. We have a little tiny ring. That's what we should get. We open like five or six or seven boxes. Still going. Oh, okay. I like it. <laughs> oh, she getting a ring. It's still missing. She picked it out. It's actually not in this box. No. It's nope. over here. It's right. I didn't know. I didn't know the ring wasn't actually in the box. You've already been playing with your birthday no, gift. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't wear it. Oh, it's an actual it's ring. It's an aura ring. Yeah, it's called oh. an aura ring. So it you wear it on your. You wear it and it monitors your heart rate and sleep and stuff like that. Oh. Is it or is it inside? No, that's Any it. Any tricks? Awesome. No, no oh, tricks. No. I was going right. to say, there's been a lot of tricks tonight. <laughs> a nice glass. This is very nice. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, time for the birthday blessings. Can you say something nice about your mom? Uh, she's a good mom, and I like her, and that's it. Good. Oh, that was a good one. That was good. Okay, Lily. I had something and Gideon said it. Well, you, well, can, you can repeat. She's a good mom. Buys us stuff. <laughs> it's not a guessing game, but that's that works. Is that all I'm good for? Is buying stuff? What no. She <laughs> yeah, she said. <laughs> she's like, she's like. Uh, she's a good mom. She makes us things, and she's nice. She's a good mom, and she helps us if we're scared. Um, she gives us medicine. If we need it, she helps us if we're sick. She helps us with our school. She's a good mom. You got anything good to say? Whether you're growing plants, or Teddy, or Chiddlers, or relationships with your sister or parents, or the friends or community, mm -hmm. you're nurturing and growing those in a special way. Thanks. We went out west. Mom and Dad took us on a, on a three-week vacation. Remember out west? Mm -hmm. A couple different times, but this one in particular time, I came down with a sickness. Mm -hmm. Remember it was... Um, Altitude sickness? Yes. Was that it? Yeah, and I threw up all night long. We're in the hotel mm -hmm. room together. And then the next morning, I, could, I still couldn't stop throwing up and there was nothing to throw up. And I was dry heaving. And then you, I, I was just constantly... And you guys were looking at me. And you're like, can you help that? And I'm like, no. And then <laughs> we're riding in the minivan and we're next to each other and you start rubbing my back. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't, I couldn't stop. And I think, I think you had to help carry me to the car, Dad. And so then you guys determined that I was gonna have to go to the hospital. hospital. The whole part of the story that, that moves me is that you came in, you wanted to see me. Mm -hmm. And you came in and you sat there and you didn't leave my side mm -hmm. for four hours. And the, the, the nurse came in and asked if you wanted to leave or take a break or get a drink of water. And you said, no, I'm not, I'm not leaving her. And the look of concern on your face, and you held my hand. <laughs> and it was just, I'll never forget it because I couldn't help it. The moral of the story is that you were always there for me and mm. <laughs> in my very weakest moments, you were my strength. So I just really appreciate that. Let's see, you're still 40. <laughs> it's it got another hour and a half. <laughs> 8.30 at night, it's very busy. So my cousin once said that his mom had three T's. She gave of her time, mm. her talent, and her treasure. That's my Bebecca. Becky was our second child, and um, she always wanted to do whatever Rachel did. <laughs> and, but, um, and it is kind of amazing that she always uh, cared about Rachel. Always wanted to try to help her at different times. And uh, I think that's part of her spirit is a caring spirit and a nurturing spirit. And uh, I think all the kids uh, reflect that. And I think uh, Justin's found himself a treasure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and having, having uh, Rebecca's is why. Mm-hmm. So.